Hi, we're back for session two of our course, Making Architecture. Uh, last week, as you may remember, we gave you an introduction to what architecture is and isn't. Uh, we began to discuss the mentality of the architect, the mindset of the architect, and we also began to stretch your muscles. What we're going to do today is to uh, discuss the work of architecture or the project in its larger context, in its larger environment. And I mean both its material environment uh, and its social environment. So what's my environment right now? Well, I'm here in front of the aqueduct of Segovia. This is about a 10 to 15 minute walk from IE University, uh, where the architecture studios are. Uh, and let's talk about this thing. Why is this here? Does this thing fit in its context? Well, to the extent that we don't have a whole lot of 2,000-year-old massive works of uh, Roman infrastructure in the neighborhood, no, it's not a good fit. Uh, but of course, if we, if we zoom out and we think about it more broadly, it makes a lot of sense. So why is this here in the first place? Uh, let's go back, look behind the aqueduct, you see some mountains. Well, when the Romans uh, set up a military garrison on the site, they needed some water to drink. And as anybody who spent much time here on the Castilian Mesetza knows, there's not a whole lot of water here. So they set up a system of gravity-based water transfer, and this aqueduct is a part of it. Now, what's it made of? It's made of stones. The stones were probably found around here, not far from here. It's directly a product of the environment. Now, it no longer carries water, though it did uh, up until about the late 1960s. But what it is today is an engine for tourism. People come here to see this amazing 2,000-year-old structure that's um, entirely gravity-based, that has no mortar at all. So these kinds of questions, this ability to think about an object in its broader context, this is what we're going to develop today. And by the end of today's session, you're going to be able to think about and map uh, a building's uh, broader context, right? The, the social and material context in which a project exists. So let's get going. Thank you.